Holy Prayers of St. Silouan the Athenite and St. Sophroni the Athenite Holy Prayers of St. Silouan the Athenite My soul yearns after God, and I seek Him in tears. O merciful Lord, Thou seest my fall and my distress. Humbly I entreat Thy mercy. Pour upon my sinful self the grace of Thy Holy Spirit. Recollection of Thy grace draws my spirit to seek out Thy compassion anew. O Lord, grant me Thy spirit of humility, that I lose not Thy grace again, and weep for it as Adam wept for paradise and for God. O Lord, grant me to love Thee alone. Thou didst create me. Thou didst enlighten me through holy baptism. Thou forgivest my sins and sufferest me to partake of thy most pure body and blood. Do thou enable me at all times to dwell in thee. O Lord, grant unto us the repentance of Adam and thy holy humility. O merciful Lord, bestow thy grace on all the peoples of the earth, that they may know thee. For without thy Holy Spirit man cannot know thee and conceive of thy love. O Lord, send down on us thy Holy Spirit, for knowledge of thee and all that appertaineth unto thee cometh solely through the Holy Spirit, whom in the beginning thou didst give unto Adam, and after him to the holy prophets, and then to the Christian people. O Lord, let all thy peoples discern thy love and the sweetness of the Holy Spirit, that men may forget the sorrows of this world and forsake all that is evil, and cling unto thee in love, and live in peace, doing thy will to thy glory. O Lord, vouchsafe unto us the gift of the Holy Spirit, that we may perceive thy glory, and live on earth in peace and love. And let there be neither malice, nor wars, nor enemies, but may love alone reign, and there will be no need of armies, or prisons, and life will be easy for everyone on earth. I pray Thee, O merciful Lord, for all the peoples of the earth, that they may come to know Thee by the Holy Spirit. As Thou didst suffer my sinful self to know Thee in Thy Holy Spirit, so let all the peoples of the earth know Thee and praise Thee day and night. I know, O Lord, that Thou dost love Thy people, but men do not comprehend Thy love, and the nations are flung about the surface of the earth and the wind chaseth their thoughts hither and thither like clouds. People have forgotten thee, their creator, and seek after their own freedom, not perceiving that thou art merciful, and lovest the repenting sinner, and givest him the grace of thy Holy Spirit. Lord, Lord, grant the strength of thy grace, that all nations may know thee in the Holy Spirit, and praise thee in joy just as thou didst give to my unclean and odious self the joy of desiring thee, so that my soul is drawn day and night to crave thy love. O merciful Lord, by thy Holy Spirit teach us to love our enemies and to pray for them with tears. O Lord, send down thy Holy Spirit on earth that all nations may know thee and learn thy love. O Lord, as Thou Thyself didst pray for Thine enemies, so teach us, too, by Thy Holy Spirit, to love our enemies. O Lord, all peoples are the work of Thy hands. Turn them from enmity and malice to repentance, that all may know Thy love. O Lord, Thou didst command us to love our enemies, but it is hard for us sinners, if Thy grace be not with us. O Lord, Pour down thy grace on the earth. Let all the nations of the earth come to know thy love, to know that thou lovest us with a mother's love, and more than a mother's love, for even a mother may be forgetful of her children. But thou forgettest never, because thy love for thy creation is boundless, and love cannot forget. O merciful Lord, by the riches of thy mercy, save all peoples. 
My heart loved thee, O Lord, and therefore I yearn for thee and seek thee in tears. Thou hast adorned the sky with stars, the air with clouds, and the earth with seas and rivers and green gardens where birds sing. But my soul is filled with love of thee and knows no desire to look upon this world, beautiful though it be. Only for thee does my soul long, O Lord. I cannot forget thy meek, gentle gaze, and weeping I pray to thee. Come and take up thine abode, and cleanse me of my sins. From the heights of thy glory thou seest how my soul yearns after thee. Forsake not thy servant. Hear me as I cry unto thee like the prophet David. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. O all ye saints, pray for me that my soul may learn the humility of Christ. My soul is eager for it, but I cannot learn this humility, and I seek it in tears, like a lost child looking for its mother. Where art thou, my Lord? Thou hast hidden thyself from my soul, and I seek thee, weeping. O Lord, enable me to humble myself before thy majesty. O Lord, to thee belongs glory in heaven and on earth. But to me, thine insignificant creature, grant thy humble spirit. I entreat thy goodness, O Lord. Look down on me from the height of thy glory, and give me strength to praise thee day and night. For my soul hath loved thee in the Holy Spirit, and I yearn after thee, and seek thee in tears. O Lord, grant us thy Holy Spirit. In him shall we glorify thee day and night. For our flesh is weak, but thy spirit is hale and giveth the soul strength to serve thee with ease, confirming the mind in thy love, and according it perfect rest in thee, so that it desires no thought save of thy love. O merciful Lord, my frail spirit cannot approach thee, and therefore like King Agar I cry unto thee, Come and heal me of the wounds made by my sinful thoughts, and I will praise thee day and night, and preach thee to the nations that all peoples may know thee, that thou art the Lord, who now as of old performeth miracles, forgiveth sins, sanctifieth, and giveth life. O Lord, set us right, as a tender mother corrects her little children. Give every soul to know the joy of thy coming, the power of thy help. Refresh the suffering souls of thy people, and teach us all to know thee in the Holy Spirit. The soul of man languishes on earth, O Lord, unable to find strength in thee through the mind because she does not know thee and thy goodness. The cares of this world overshadow our minds, and we cannot comprehend the fullness of thy love. Do thou enlighten us. To thy compassion all things are possible. Thou didst proclaim in thy holy gospel that the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God and shall live. Make our dead souls to hear thy voice this day and come to life. Tell the world, O Lord, the sins of all men are forgiven, and they will be forgiven. Hallow us, O Lord, and all men will be made holy by thy Spirit, and all thy peoples will glorify thee on earth, and thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. For to thee all things are possible. O Lord, grant thy peace to thy people. O Lord, bestow thy Holy Spirit on thy servants, that their hearts may be kindled by thy love, and their feet set upon the path of truth and goodness. O Lord, I would that thy peace be among all thy people, whom thou hast loved to the utmost, and didst give thine only begotten Son that the world might be saved. O Lord, grant them thy grace, that in peace and love they may come to know and love thee, and say like the apostles on Mount Tabor, Master, it is good for us to be with thee. But what have we done for thee, Lord? In what have we pleased thee, that thou dost wish to be in us, and for us to be in thee? We crucified thee on the cross with our sins, yet dost thou still wish us to be with thee? Oh, how great is thy mercy! I see thy mercy spread over me. I am deserving of hell and every torment. 
yet dost thou give me the grace of the Holy Spirit. And if thou didst vouchsafe to my sinful self to know thee by the Holy Spirit, then I beseech thee, O Lord, let all peoples come to know thee. O Lord, thou dost love thy creature, and who can fathom thy love or delight in it, if he be not taught of thee thyself by thy Holy Spirit? I pray thee, O Lord, send down on thy peoples the grace of the Holy Spirit, that they may know thy love. Warm their sorrowing hearts, that forgetful of the afflictions of this earth, they may glorify thee in joy. O gracious Comforter, weeping I beseech thee, comfort the afflicted hearts of thy peoples. Let the nations hear the sweet sound of thy voice, saying unto them, Your sins are forgiven. Yea, O Lord, it is in thy power to perform miracles, and there is no greater miracle than to love the sinner in his fall. A saint is easy to love, he is worthy of love. Yea, Lord, hearken to our prayer. All the peoples of the world suffer in distress. All are cast down by sin. All are bereft of thy grace and live in darkness. Great is thy mercy, O Lord, and who is there can render unto thee worthy thanks that thou hast given thy Holy Spirit on earth? Great, O Lord, is thy truth. Thou didst give thy promise to thine apostles. I will not leave you comfortless. And we now experience this mercy, and know in our souls that thou lovest us. O Holy Spirit, forsake us not. When thou art with us, the soul is sensible of thy presence, and knows bliss in God, for thy gift is an ardent love of God. How oft hast thou given me thy grace, and I preserved it not, because my soul was puffed up. But my soul knows thee, my Creator and my God, wherefore I seek thee weeping, as Joseph wept on his mother's tomb for Jacob his father, when he was led into bondage in Egypt. I have grieved thee by my sins, and thou goest from me, and my soul yearns after thee. Leave me not, O Holy Spirit. When thou dost go from me, evil thoughts visit me, and my soul with much weeping yearns after thee. O Most Holy Mother of God, Thou seest my sorrow. I have grieved the Lord, and he forsaketh me. But I entreat thee of thy goodness. Save me, save this fallen creature of God. Save me, thy servant. Grant me, O Lord, a lowly spirit, that I may at all times thank thee that thou didst give thy Holy Spirit on earth. And I have him in remembrance. He himself helpeth me to keep him in my thoughts. O Holy Spirit, Sovereign King, what shall I, steeped in iniquity, render unto thee? Thou didst reveal to me mystery incomprehensible. Thou didst give me to know the Lord, my Creator. Thou didst give me to know his measureless love for us. O gracious Lord, how great is thy love for me, a sinner! Thou didst give me to know thee. Thou didst give me to taste of thy grace. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Thou hast let me to taste of thy goodness and mercy, and, insatiable, my soul reaches toward thee day and night, and cannot forget her beloved Creator. For the Spirit of God gives her strength to love the Beloved. O Holy Spirit, dwell in us always. It is good to be with thee. Where art thou, O my light? Where art thou, my joy? Why hast thou forsaken me? My heart is heavy. Why hast thou hidden thyself from me? And my soul is sorrowful. When thou camest into my soul, thou didst consume my sins with fire. Come now again into my soul and again consume my sins with fire, for they conceal thee from me as clouds conceal the sun. 
Do thou come and rejoice me with thy coming. Why tarriest thou, O Lord? Thou seest how my soul languishes, and I seek thee in tears. Where hidest thou thyself? Indeed, thou art in every place, but my soul sees thee not, and aching and in sorrow seeks thee. In like manner the most holy virgin and Joseph sought thee, sick at heart, when thou wast a young lad. What thoughts passed through her sorrowing mind when she found not her beloved son? What shall I render unto thee, O Lord, for that thou hast poured such great mercy on my soul? Grant, I beg thee, that I may see my iniquities and ever weep before thee, for thou art filled with love for humble souls, and dost give them the grace of the Holy Spirit. O merciful God, forgive me. Thou seest how my soul is drawn to thee, her Creator. Thou hast wounded my soul with thy love and she thirsts for thee, and wearies without end, and day and night, insatiable, reaches toward thee, and has no wish to look upon this world, though I do love it. But above all I love thee, my Creator, and my soul longs after thee. O my Creator, why have I, thy little creature, grieved thee so often, yet thou hast not remembered my sins? The souls of the saints, O Lord, hast thou drawn unto thyself, and they flowed toward thee like gentle streams. The minds of the saints attach themselves to thee, O Lord, and are drawn toward thee, our light and joy. The hearts of thy saints are confirmed in thy love, O Lord, and cannot forget thee for a moment, even when they sleep, for sweet is the grace of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, grant me tears to shed for myself and for the whole universe, that the nations may know Thee and live eternally with Thee. O Lord, vouchsafe us the gift of Thy humble Holy Spirit, that we may apprehend Thy glory. We thank Thee, O Lord, that Thou hast given us the Holy Spirit on earth to teach the soul knowledge, the which she never thought to know. O Holy Virgin Mary, tell us, thy children, of thy love on earth for thy Son and God. Tell us how thy spirit rejoiced in God thy Savior. Tell us of how thou didst look upon his fair countenance, and reflect that this was he whom all the heavenly host wait upon in awe and love. Tell us what thy soul felt when thou didst bear the wondrous babe in thine arms. Tell us of how thou didst rear him, how, sick at heart, thou and Joseph sought him three long days in Jerusalem. Tell us of thine agony when the Lord was delivered up to be crucified and lay dying on the cross. Tell us what joy was thine over the resurrection. Tell us how thy soul languished after the Lord's ascension. We long to know of thy life on earth with the Lord but thou wast not minded to commit all these things to writing, and didst veil thy secret heart in silence. For a long while I was unable to make out what had befallen me. I thought to myself, I do not find fault with people. I harbor no evil thoughts. I perform my task of obedience punctually. I fast. I pray without ceasing. Why, then, do devils frequent me? I see I am an heir, but cannot fathom where. I say my prayers, and the devils go away for a time, but afterwards come back again. And long my soul continued in this conflict. I talked about it to some of the Startsy. They kept silent, and I remained at a loss. And lo, one night I was sitting in my cell when suddenly it was filled with devils. I started to pray fervently and the Lord drove them away, but they came back again. Then I got to my feet, ready to bow down before the icons, with devils all round me and one of them standing out in front, so that I could not bow down before the icons without appearing to be bowing to him. I sat down again and said, 
Lord, thou seest that I desire to pray to thee with a single mind, but the devils will not let me. Tell me what I must do to make them leave me. And in my soul came the Lord's reply, The proud always suffer thus from devils. Lord, I say, thou art merciful. My soul knoweth thee. Tell me what I must do that my soul may grow humble. And the Lord answered me in my soul, Keep thy mind in hell, and despair not. Adam pined on earth, and wept bitterly, and the earth was not pleasing to him. He was heartsick for God, and this was his cry. My soul wearies for the Lord, and I seek him in tears. How should I not seek him? When I was with him, my soul was glad and at rest, and the enemy could not come nigh me. But now the spirit of evil has gained power over me, harassing and oppressing my soul so that I weary for the Lord even unto death, and my spirit strains to God, and there is naught on earth can make me glad, nor can my soul take comfort in any thing, but longs once more to see the Lord, that her hunger may be appeased. I cannot forget him for a single moment, and my soul languishes after him, and from the multitude of my afflictions I lift up my voice and cry, Have mercy upon me, O God, have mercy on thy fallen creature. Thus did Adam lament, and the tears streamed down his face onto his beard, onto the ground beneath his feet, and the whole desert heard the sound of his moaning. The beasts and the birds were hushed in grief, while Adam wept because peace and love were lost to all men on account of his sin. Adam knew great grief when he was banished from paradise, But when he saw his son Abel slain by Cain his brother, Adam's grief was even heavier. His soul was heavy, and he lamented and thought, Peoples and nations will descend from me and multiply, and suffering will be their lot, and they will live in enmity and seek to slay one another. And his sorrow stretched wide as the sea, and only the soul that has come to know the Lord and the magnitude of his love for us can understand. I, too, have lost grace and call with Adam. Be merciful unto me, O Lord. Bestow on me the spirit of humility and love. O love of the Lord, he who has known thee seeks thee, tireless, day and night, crying with a loud voice. I pine for thee, O Lord, and seek thee in tears. How should I not seek thee? Thou didst give me to know thee by thy Holy Spirit, and in her knowing of God, my soul is drawn to seek thee in tears. Adam wept, The desert cannot pleasure me, nor the high mountains, nor meadow, nor forest, nor the singing of birds. I have no pleasure in anything. My soul sorrows with a great sorrow. I have grieved God. And were the Lord to set me down in paradise again, there too would I sorrow and weep. Oh, why did I grieve my beloved God? I write of thee, O Adam, but thou art witness. My feeble understanding cannot fathom thy longing after God, nor how thou didst carry the burden of repentance. O Adam, thou dost see how I, thy child, suffer here on earth. Small is the fire within me, and the flame of my love flickers low. O Adam, Sing unto us the song of the Lord, that my soul may rejoice in the Lord and be moved to praise and glorify him as the cherubim and seraphim praise him in the heavens. And all the hosts of heavenly angels sing to him the thrice holy hymn. O Adam, our father, sing unto us the Lord's song, that the whole earth may hear and all thy sons may lift their minds to God and delight in the strains of the heavenly anthem and forget their sorrows on earth. And Adam speaks, My children, leave me in peace. I cannot wrench myself from the love of God to speak with you. My soul is wounded with love of the Lord, and rejoices in his beauty. How should I remember the earth? 
Those who live before the face of the Most High cannot think on earthly things. O Adam, our father, thou hast forsaken us, thine orphans, though misery is our portion here on earth. Tell us what we may do to be pleasing to God. Look upon thy children scattered over the face of the earth, our minds scattered too. Many have forgotten God. They live in darkness and journey to the abyss of hell. Trouble me not, I see the mother of God in glory. How can I tear myself away to speak with you? I see the holy prophets and apostles, and all they are in the likeness of our Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. I walk in the garden of paradise, and everywhere behold the glory of the Lord. For the Lord is in me, and hath made me like unto himself. O Adam, yet we are thy children. Tell us in our tribulation how we may inherit paradise, that we, like thee, may behold the glory of the Lord. Our souls long for the Lord, while thou dost live in heaven and rejoice in the glory of the Lord. Why cry ye out to me, my children? The Lord loveth you, and hath given you commandments. Be faithful to them, love one another, and ye shall find rest in God. Let not an hour pass without ye repent of your transgressions, that ye may be ready to meet the Lord. The Lord said, I love them that love me, and glorify them that glorify me. O Adam, pray for us, thy children. Our souls are sad from many sorrows. O Adam, sing unto us a heavenly song, that the whole earth may hearken, and delight in the peace of love toward God. We would hear those songs. Sweet are they, for they are sung in the Holy Spirit. Adam lost the earthly paradise and sought it weeping. But the Lord through his love on the cross gave Adam another paradise, fairer than the old, a paradise in heaven where shines the light of the Holy Trinity. What shall we render unto the Lord for his love to us? O Lord, Give me tears that my soul may weep for the love of my brother day and night. O noble Father John who intercedest for us, I give thanks to God that I saw thee. I give thanks to thee too, good and holy shepherd, that because of thy prayers I left the world and came to holy Mount Athos, where I have witnessed great mercy at God's hands. O Father John, now thou dost dwell in heaven, and behold the Lord, whom thy soul loved when thou wast still on earth. We beg thee, pray for us, that we too may love the Lord and offer up repentance in which the Lord rejoiceth. O good and holy Father, thou hast risen like a soaring eagle over the mighty land of Russia, and from the heights to which the Holy Spirit, living in thee, hath lifted thee, Thou seest the needs of the people. By the strength of the Holy Spirit, thou didst draw the people to God, and they, as they listened to the word of God proceeding from thy lips, wept and ardently repented. O great and good Father, though thy body be dead, in the Spirit thou art with us, and standing before God in the Holy Spirit, thou dost behold us from the heavens, and we humbly venerate thee. I give thee thanks, my Lord and Creator, that thou hast mercifully humbled my soul and revealed unto me the way of thy saints. Thou lovest them that weep, and all the saints found thee through their tears. Thou lovest the humble, and by thy grace dost teach them the love and humility feared by our enemy the devil. Thou dost rejoice, O Lord, in the humble soul. Do thou, O merciful one, Grant that I may come to thee by treading the path followed by thy saints, the path of humble weeping that thou hast shown me. Lord, pour forth thy mercy on the children of the earth whom thou lovest, and give them to know thee through the Holy Spirit, and teach them to glorify thee. I beseech thee with tears, hearken to my prayer, and let all people come to know thy glory by the Holy Spirit. 
For those who ask for my prayers, I entreat the Lord with tears. Lord, grant them thy Holy Spirit, that through the Holy Spirit they may know thee. All day, all night, my soul is taken up with thee, O Lord, and I seek thee. Thy Spirit draweth me to seek thee, and the remembrance of thee makes glad my mind. My soul came to love thee, and rejoices that thou art my God and my Lord, and I yearn after thee till my heart is filled with tears. And though all the world be beautiful, no earthly thing can occupy my thoughts. My soul desires only the Lord. There is naught on earth can satisfy the soul that has come to know God. She longs continually for the Lord, and, like a child that has lost its mother, cries, My soul yearns after thee, and I seek thee in tears. The soul from love of the Lord has lost her wits, as it were. She sits in silence, with no wish to speak, and looks upon the world with crazed eyes, having no desire for it, and seeing it not. And people do not know that she is contemplating her beloved Lord, that the world has been left behind and has forgotten, and the soul does not care to let her thoughts rest on it, for there is no sweetness therein. Thus it is with the soul that has come to know the sweetness of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, give unto us this love throughout thine whole universe. O Holy Spirit, live in our souls, that with one accord we may all glorify the Creator, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Prayers of St. Sophroni the Athenite, founder of St. John the Baptist Monastery in Essex, England. Prayer at Daybreak O Lord, eternal and creator of all things, who of thine inscrutable goodness didst call me to this life, who didst bestow on me the grace of baptism and the seal of the Holy Spirit, who hast imbued me with the desire to seek thee, the one true God. Hear my prayer. I have no life, no light, no joy or wisdom, no strength except in thee, O God. Because of my unrighteousness, I dare not raise my eyes to thee. But thou didst say to thy disciples, Whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing, ye shall receive. And, Whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. Wherefore I dare to invoke thee, purify me from all taint of flesh and spirit. Teach me to pray aright. Bless this day which thou dost give unto me, thine unworthy servant. By the power of thy blessing enable me at all times to speak and act to thy glory with a pure spirit, with humility, patience, love, gentleness, peace, courage, and wisdom, aware always of thy presence. Of thine immense goodness, O Lord God, show me the path of thy will, and grant me to walk in thy sight without sin. O Lord, unto whom all hearts be open, thou knowest what things I have need of. Thou art acquainted with my blindness and my ignorance. Thou knowest mine infirmity and my soul's corruption but neither are my pain and anguish hid from thee. Wherefore I beseech thee, hear my prayer, and by thy Holy Spirit teach me the way wherein I should walk. And when my perverted will would lead me down other paths, spare me not, O Lord, but force me back to thee. By the power of thy love, grant me to hold fast to that which is good. Preserve me from every word or deed that corrupts the soul from every impulse unpleasing in thy sight and hurtful to my brother man. Teach me what I should say and how I should speak. If it be thy will that I make no answer, inspire me to keep silent in a spirit of peace that causeth neither sorrow nor hurt to my fellow. Establish me in the path of thy commandments, and to my last breath let me not stray from the light of thine ordinances. 
that thy commandments may become the sole law of my being on this earth and in all eternity. Yea, Lord, I pray thee, have pity on me. Spare me in mine affliction and my misery, and hide not the way of salvation from me. In my foolishness, O God, I plead with thee for many and great things. Yet I am ever mindful of my wickedness, my baseness, my vileness. Have mercy upon me. Cast me not away from thy presence because of my presumption. Do thou rather increase in me this presumption, and grant unto me the worst of men, to love thee as thou hast commanded, with all my heart, and with all my soul, and with all my mind, and with all my strength, with my whole being. Yea, O Lord, by thy Holy Spirit, teach me good judgment and knowledge. Grant me to know thy truth before I go down into the grave. Maintain my life in this world until I may offer unto thee worthy repentance. Take me not away in the midst of my days, nor while my mind is still blind. When thou shalt be pleased to bring my life to an end, forewarn me that I may prepare my soul to come before thee. Be with me, O Lord, at that dread hour, and grant me the joy of salvation. Cleanse thou me from secret faults, from all iniquity that is hid in me, and give me a right answer before thy judgment seat. Yea, Lord, of thy great mercy and immeasurable love for mankind, hear my prayer. Other Various Prayers from St. Sophroni O Almighty God and our Father, fount of time and eternity, who by thy power hast set a term to our life on earth, and through thine only begotten Son dost grant unto us, through resurrection, immortal life, and a kingdom which cannot be moved. Accept us who implore thee, and sustain us by thy Holy Spirit as we approach thy throne on high. Deign to accept our praise and thanksgiving. We beseech thee, forsake us not. But as in time of old, Thou didst send down thy Holy Spirit on the sacrifices offered by our fathers. So now, of thy goodness, despise not our supplications, nor our worship. For thou only art our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, now and forever, world without end. Lord Jesus Christ, thou Lamb of God, who didst take upon thyself the sin of the world, who by thine ascent to Golgotha didst redeem us from the curse of the law and didst restore thy fallen image, who didst stretch thy most pure hands on the cross, gathering together in one the scattered children of God, and by the descent of the Most Holy Spirit didst call all men to unity. Thou that art the brightness of the Father, before going forth to this great and sacred work for the salvation of the world, didst pray to thy Father that all may be one, even as thou art one with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Do thou grant unto us the grace and wisdom each day to fulfill this commandment, and strengthen us to strive for that love, which thou didst command of us, saying, Love one another as I have loved you. By thy Holy Spirit give us the power to humble ourselves, one before the other, mindful that he who loveth the more doth humble himself the more. Teach us to pray for one another, in patience to bear one another's burdens, and unite us with the unbreakable bond of love in thy holy name. Grant us to behold in our every brother and sister the image of thine ineffable glory, and never to forget that our brother is our life. Yea, O Lord, who has gathered us together of thy good providence, Make us truly into one family, living with one heart, one will, a single love, as one man, according to thy pre-eternal counsel for Adam the firstborn. Fill our house with the spirit of thy holy fear, and let the prayers of thy most holy mother, of thy forerunner John, and our hallowed fathers Siloan and Seraphim overshadow it always, blessing and defending each one of them that dwell therein preserving us from pernicious thoughts, from unseemly words or impulses of the heart that might destroy peace and concord. 
that this house may be builded on the rock of thy gospel commandments as a place of prayer, of sanctification and salvation, for ourselves and for all who visit us, our laboring and burdened brothers and sisters, that we may all find rest in thee, our meek and lowly King, now and forever, world without end. Amen. O Lord, I am weak, thou knowest this. In fear I seek the way to thee, despise me not, forsake me not in my fall. Draw near even unto me, who am of no account, yet I thirst after thee. Take up thine abode in me, and do thou thyself perform in me all that thou hast commanded of us. Make me thine for ever and ever, in love unshakable. O Christ our God, desire of our hearts, diffuse the light of thy truth over us, that in thy light, unworthy as we are, we may behold thy glory as of the only begotten of the Father, and so be fashioned after thy searchless image in the likeness of which thou didst create man. I beseech thee, O word that wast in the beginning with God and the Spirit, Instruct me now that I may somewhat describe the precious mysteries thou dost teach us by thy withdrawal from us. Thou only art our teacher and master. Thou art light. Thou art wisdom. Thou only art the way to the Father. St. Sophroni says, In difficult times when, despite my efforts, I failed to coordinate my life with the gospel teaching, I would pray thus, Come, O Lord, and perform thy will in me. Thy commandments find no place in my cramped heart, and my poor mind cannot discern their content. For if thou wilt not come and abide in me, I perish. I know that thou dost not coerce, but I pray thee, in power enter into my house and give me new life. Transform my benighted pride into thy humble love, By thy light transfigure my all-perverted nature, that not a single sinful passion possess me to prevent the coming of thy Father and thee, to make of me a holy abode for the life which thou hast thyself vouchsafed me to behold. Yea, O Lord, I beseech thee, perform in me this token of thy goodness. Lord, forgive me. I am feared to speak. Heal me hearten me, withdraw not from me. O heavenly King and Comforter, Spirit of Truth, which proceedest from the Father, and dost repose in the Son, come and abide in us, guide us into all truth, and save our souls, O Thou who art good. O God, the Father who art ever blessed, who has called us to eternal glory in Jesus Christ, Christ without sin, who bore the sins of the world and laid his life on the cross that we might live forever, who in the weakness of human flesh made manifest the image of thy perfection. We beseech thee, Father all holy, fill us from on high with thy strength that we may follow in his steps Make us like in goodness to thy Son in this proud and constant age, that the way of thy truth suffer no blasphemy because of our untruth, nor be profaned by the sons of the adversary. O Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit, Most High God, King and Creator of all eternity, who hast honored us with thy divine image, and didst describe in the visible form of our nature the likeness of thine invisible being. Enable us to find mercy and grace in thy sight, that we may glorify thee in the undying day of thy kingdom, with all thy saints throughout the ages. O Father, Son, and Spirit, triune Godhead, one being in three persons, light unapproachable, mystery most secret. Lift our minds to contemplation of thine unfathomable judgments, 
and fill our hearts with the light of thy divine love, that we may serve thee in spirit and truth, even unto our last breath. We pray thee, hear and have mercy. O Holy Spirit, all-powerful God, gracious Comforter and almighty Defender, giver of wisdom and light of revelation, who by thy descent didst bring the uttermost parts of the world to the only true knowledge of God, do thou come down even upon us, who grieve thee always, to enlighten and sanctify us, to heal and comfort us with thine abiding comfort. O God and Father, without beginning, thou who art blessed throughout all ages, who hast revealed unto us the mystery of the way of thy salvation. Renew our nature by thy word abiding in us, and make us the temple of thy Holy Spirit, that being ever guarded by thy might, we may give glory to thee in a worthy manner, now and forever. O Holy Spirit, eternal King and giver of life incorruptible, Look down in thine infinite mercy on the infirmities of our nature. Illumine and hallow us. Let the light of thy knowledge shine forth in our darkened hearts, and in the earthen vessels of our nature manifest thine invincible strength. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thou hast given me to perceive thy holiness, and I would fain be holy in thee. Thy kingdom come. May thy glorious life enter into me and become mine. Thy will be done in the earth of my created being as it is in heaven, in thee thyself from all eternity. Give us this day our daily bread, the true bread which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. By thy Holy Spirit grant me so to forgive others that nothing may prevent me from receiving thy forgiveness. Lead us not into temptation. Thou knowest my perverseness, that I am ever ready to transgress. Send thine angel to stand in the way for an adversary against me when I would sin. But deliver us from evil. Deliver me from the power of the mortal enemy, the adversary of man and God. O Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit, the only truth and God, ever-living and all-powerful, who alone dost give strength to the troubled and upholdest the weak, O Thou without whom the strong shall weary and the firm grow feeble, those who are full shall hunger and young men shall bend. Hear us in our affliction, and raise us to worthy service of Thee. We beseech Thee, be swift to hear and have mercy. O Holy Spirit, mysterious light, O light inscrutable, light beyond all name, come and abide in us, deliver us from the darkness of ignorance, and fill us with the stream of Thy knowledge. O Lord Jesus Christ, light everlasting, who from the Father did shine forth before all worlds, who didst open the eyes of the man that was born blind, do thou open the eyes of our hearts and grant us to behold thee, our Creator and our God. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we beseech and implore thee, cast us not away from thy presence, And being not wroth with all our ungodliness, appear unto us, O light of the world, to reveal unto us the mystery of the ways of thy salvation, that we may become sons and daughters of thy light. O Lord Jesus Christ, who art the brightness of the Father, the express image of his person, the all-perfect tracing of his essence and his nature, Open our hearts and establish our minds that we may know Thee, the only begotten and beloved Son of the Father. Behold, in fear and faith we stand before Thee, resigning our despair to Thy deep mercy. 
by the power of thy Spirit, raise us to follow in thy steps. Lord Jesus Christ, everlasting King, the one true High Priest, who dost offer thyself to God the Father upon the cross in atonement for the sins of the world, and in this searchless act of service didst give us thine incorruptible body for sacred food and thy most precious blood for life-giving drink. Make us worthy of these ineffable mysteries, that we may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. We pray thee, O Lord, hear and have mercy. Come, O thou who alone art holy, and sanctify and cleanse me from all that defiles. Come, O thou who only art in truth the living one, and restore me from the life with which I am stricken. Come, thou true life, and abide in me forever. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, of Saints Silouan and Sophroni the Athenites, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen.